Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we did the uh, Item World Survival and we unlocked Plain Air, the mascot character. I forgot to show her aptitudes and stuff, so, uh. Hang on a second. These are her aptitudes very high hit and speed, and she can move extra tiles after an attack. These are her specials. Not too bad, especially Usa Rush. I mean, look at that range. <laughs> Plain Air is always pretty great in uh, any game she appears in, it seems like. Anyway, we are going to do the X Dimension. Not because I finally have all the tickets, but because I have most of them and I have not been able to find the last one anywhere. So I'm just going to see if I have better luck in the land of carnage. <laughs> Let's start the X Dimension. As you can see, I have 42 out of 43 uh, stages available here. I don't exactly know which one I am missing, but I can kind of guess, maybe. Oh, you know what? Come to think of it, I'm, a. Uh, I think I'm missing one from here. Might be missing one from Chapter 7. And that seems like, uh... That seems like a possibility. Alright. So, in order to unlock the X Dimension, you need to have somebody in the Toronoana Club. And for each illegal ticket you get out of the item world, you will unlock one more Dark World stage, or X Dimension stage. So, let's enter the strongest entrance and see what we got. I am completely unprepared for all of this, by the way. That was a effect. The uh, the UI is a little different. We have absolute area panels all over the place here. So obviously, we are going to have to just fight our way through this maze of absolute area. So, let's get started. I will do my best. Obviously, we got some crazy strong units here to uh, help us get to the end quickly. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't think Saitama would be able to get to On my way. Oh. I'll mess you up. Whoops. Take this. We're using the same party as usual, uh, no big changes here or anything. Which is just as well, because uh, we only have one person with the uh, ranged normal attack. But actually, I don't know. Forget that. That's kind of irrelevant. Really. In any case, we just got to... Uh, just gotta blast our way through. Here, here. I go. Begin. Dalsim is at a bit of a disadvantage here because he can't use his uh, ranged magic. He has to <laughs> be right up next to the enemy. And at that point, why wouldn't you just punch them? It seems a lot more convenient to me. So, uh, for those of you wondering about the uh, various pirates you can find in the item world, I'm probably going to uh, put something up in the uh, end slate of this video. Yes, an end slate. How very uh, Chugga Conway like of me. <laughs> but that'll have all the information I collected on the uh, pirates, including my own statistics while searching for the pretty pirates, which is the last set of pirates that I need. So, yeah. That's kind of what we're doing. Mm. 
Here Shall we go. dance? We'll meet again. Oh no, now there's a treasure chest in the way. <laughs> Got another enemy kill out of that. How very efficient of us. <laughs> yeah, let's just carry on. These guys. The others are too far away. To really, you know, make a difference. That wasn't too bad, besides all the uh, running around. Let's carry on! Strongest hallway! Enemy turbo time set. This is actually really straightforward. I think. Yeah, I mean, you could send some guys to take care of those uh, Geo Cubes, but we don't need to. We're strong. Well, punch away. Heck yeah. Strongest guard. Looks like we have uh, chickens. Okay. I think I see what we need to do, though. All right, first order of business. We need a we need a uh, a dummy. Salvatore, you will be our dummy. And then uh, we need somebody with high threat. Yeah, sure, Champlain. I wonder, where is the, uh, oh, it's here, okay. Alright, that is what we are going to do. Salvatore is going to die, but that's fine. The chickens are all coming after us. <laughs> This is when the master stroke comes into play. Donk. And that gets rid of the bad geo effect. The rest of us can all party like it ain't no thing. Of course, these being chickens, you kind of. Still, they're still really annoying to fight. On my way. Gotta position yourself just right to be out of the range of their uh, 
Miasma of Chicken. That took care of a lot of them. Let's Shall bring some dance? more guys in here. It's gonna take care of all here seven or five of those guys. I don't know why I counted seven. <laughs> and we can let the rest sort themselves out. These guys are all so weak, it's pretty obvious you were meant to do this a lot sooner, but I'm not complaining. I was trying to get the tickets to everything before I started this, and it turns out I couldn't. Reverse damage and HPSP switch. This looks like a job for Rutil. If I can figure out which one of these is the... Uh... Alright, that's HPSP, which means this is reverse damage. So let's start by smashing this Geo Cube. Alright, that takes care of everything else. It up. On my way. Go, go, boom. Oh, yeah. There. Hmm. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, that's all four uh, Chapter 1 stages taken care of. As you can see, we are now at 9% completion, which is pretty good. We need 20% to get our first item, and we need 25 stages in order to unlock the Land of Carnage. So, we're making pretty good progress, but I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Wait, 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 there's a new NPC here. Red... Orca. A bit of foreshadowing there. All right. See you guys in the next video. <laughs> At this point, we are going to shift gears and start talking about pirates. Pirates appear in the item world past floor 21. They never appear on the uh, on the boss floor and the floor immediately after a boss floor. Uh, they also don't appear on Mystery Gate floors, so if you're pirate hunting, enter any Mystery Gates you find and you will have a chance at encountering pirates when that floor reloads. They're most likely to appear at the end of the first turn. If they don't show up after the first turn, just move on. If you wait a turn after the pirates appear, you may get a second group of pirates. Having members in the PPP club increases the encounter rate for pirates. So, obviously, having a, a bunch of members will give you a very high chance of finding pirates. I managed to get a membership of seven, which gave me about an 80% chance of finding a pirate on a given floor. Each group of pirates in the normal set of item world pirates has one illegal ticket. Um, you can get this by killing the leader, or you can just do the normal thing and use a thief with a stealing hand. But really, if you've been leveling up your units enough, uh, most of the pirates are not all that hard to kill. Alright, so for each group of pirates here, I'm going to uh, list their name, what ship they're riding, uh, how much stronger they are than the enemies you expect to find on that floor. 
anything special about their uh, abilities or equipment and what units uh, are in the pirates. Okay, let's begin.